Alright guys, over there in the distance we have a big bunker base. This is D-Day. We have to attack the red team with our army of musket men. And let's see if we can take it on, alright? Here we go! Hey guys, this is Poratic Jasonfy and welcome back to Wooden Battles. Guys, today we are back in this wonderful little battle simulator. Today we have plenty more viewer suggestions. Thank you guys so much for that, I really appreciate it. And the first one comes from Agent. Over here guys, we have a very big army of rocket men, a whopping 50 dudes ready to blast away. Their little fireworks are charged and they're gonna have to have a lot of firepower because look at this guys we got 10 of every unit in a little fort over here on defense mode we even have like 10 medics now of course we don't have 10 of the rocket guys because that would just be a little strange right this is the battle of the rocket man let's see what's gonna happen all right oh they don't wait around, okay? They don't wanna play around, they wanna go. They mean business. They immediately get out of here. Let's see if we can get some fire going, okay? Oh man, the snipe. Oh! I was gonna say the snipers are gonna deal a lot of damage here, but the cannons though. Oh, and the rockets are going everywhere. Oh, am I... Wow. <laughs> Whoa! We have a total of one casualty over on the blue team, and that is it. Oh boy, guys. We need a lot more fireworks. We need a lot more fireworks, okay? I know it was a nice idea to go for only 50, but... Uh, <laughs> I mean, 50 is already a lot. That's already a lot. I mean, I think it's already a lot. But this is a, a whole lot more, I think. Guys, if you think that this is going to break the game, which I think it will, leave a like on the video right here right now and then we're gonna move in okay i think we're gonna crash everything here usually we do that like at the end of the video but uh man we even have a man down already soldier what are you doing get up soldier oh gosh all of his friends are in the war already oh boy are we still playing this game how is that possible i want to see more rockets oh my gosh <laughs> there's rockets everywhere that's what i like to see now we are finally dealing some damage that's good that's really good there we go even the castle is going down. Take down the snipers, guys. Oh, I got so many snipers here. Why are they not shooting at the snipers? Like, we got two more. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. What are they shooting at? Oh, wait, these cannons were still alive. Oh, wait, here we go, here we go. Blast away, boys. Big booms everywhere. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Why are they not doing anything? Oh, these are just the medics. Oh, <laughs> oh poor medics. They just have to await their fate. That's right, here we go. Bang, that's it. Red is victorious. I mean, surely they had quite a few more guys though, but it's okay. Let's move on over to the next one. And the next suggestion comes from Connor Riley, who has a challenge for us, okay? Over here, we got 12 snipers, 3 rocket men, 2 medics, and 40 maskets. Masks? I don't know what that is. I think it's a musketoon, right? Right over here. Very nice. And I actually forgot to say, guys, look at this. If we zoom in, okay? If we zoom all the way in. Can you see this gun? It's not blue anymore. And it's got two barrels. Can you see that? See two barrels. It's Darren Shotgun. I did a little challenge, and now they have a shotgun that fires faster, but reloads slower. And the same goes for this thing. It's a different sniper. This one fires faster, but it's not as accurate. All right. Rocket guy is still the same, though. I think the medic guy is still the same as well. But the uh, soldier is also different. Look at this. He's got a different rifle. So this thing fires five times super fast. And then it has to reload for a long time. So I don't know which one is better. I don't think we can have them battle it. Although it's either everyone has this weapon or no one has it. But anyway, back to the challenge, guys. We have to beat this. And let's say that we can go to about 875k. Switch it up. Here we go. I think I want to go for some cannons. Because cannons... Are pretty powerful against the musketoons. I think that's gonna be uh that's gonna be pretty good. So let's see, how many cannons should we get? Should we just get like 10 cannons? Wait, let's get five cannons. I'm gonna change it up a little bit. Then we're gonna have these guys in the front here. That's nice, that's very nice indeed. Oh, we are the offensive guys, by the way. What am I doing? Let's switch to offense, do the same thing again. Yes, yes, that's how it works. We're gonna have some snipers on the outsides here. 
And then I think just a few more medics. Let's, uh, let's fill it up like this, okay? There we go. That looks like a pretty nice army to me. I don't think we spent quite as much as he did. So it's gonna be interesting to see what's gonna happen. If we win, I'd be pretty proud, okay? Now this sniper guy, does he actually fire much faster? I don't think it's a whole lot faster, though. Oh, man, watch out for the rockets, though. I forgot he had rockets. If those hit my cannons, oh, like that. That's bad. I don't need my cannons to go down. Oh, these boys are getting medic. That's what I like to see. Lots of healings everywhere. Get this little fresh baguette out of your backpack. And heal these men. Because they're getting a lot of firepower here. Oh, man. Firepower to the face. No, no, no. We need to dish out the firepower. And not get it in our face. That's right. Okay, here we go. So we got... Where's my medics at? I was gonna say we have like one or two medics remaining. Oh, no, we do not. Oh, my gosh. Wait, the rocket guys are still alive? That's a mistake. And I put them like in the back there. Oh, watch out. Oh, man. They both missed the cannon. <laughs> Fire at the rocket thing. Whoa. Holy moly. Where did that go? Man, these things are so inaccurate. Come on, fire at them. Fire at them. Fire at them. Oh, that's it. Beautiful. Wait, why are these guys not doing anything? Are they not close enough? Oh, they don't have enough range. Oh my gosh. So it's only going to... Whoa, only going to be the snipers, I was gonna say. There's no more snipers. There's only sniper. This one guy here. Oh, but is he gonna take it home? He's got like a golden sniper rifle. This guy is gonna do it, right? Come on, Mr. Snow. Whoa. <laughs> no, he is not gonna do it. We are victorious. Even though we didn't spend as much. That's awesome. So I know you guys want to see some action. I want to see it too. But let's go ahead and build a little bit of a base, okay? We are gonna build something really, really exciting. We are going to make a D-Day in this beautiful game. That's right, because the next suggestion comes from LOL Yimingamavia. I'm sorry, okay, I tried. Today, guys, we are going to have D-Day, just like we did in Ravenfield, just like we did in Ancient Warfare 3, but now in wooden battles. That is awesome. I'm very excited about it. So I think this is how we're gonna make the little bunkers, okay? We can, like, put this up and kind of fit it in there to kind of reinforce this uh, little structure, okay? So we're going to have two of these and a special bunker in the middle because the outer two bunkers are going to have... What was it again? Musketoons, I believe, right? We're going to have the musketoons as the defense, of course, right over here. There we go. This is the musketoon bunker. Maybe we should give them a little bit more defense. I don't know, can, can we still do that? We can put like a few in front of it too, right? There we go, that's pretty nice. So now we go over to the right here. And we built the same thing. Alright. Boop, 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 there we go. Now, we got two of the same bunkers on either side. Now we're gonna make a special bunker in the center where the cannon is going to sit in. So I think if we can make it like this, so that the cannon can sit on top of here, and then have the protection built around it. So let's put the two cannons down, because this is what it's all about, right? One cannon, two cannon, and we need to reinforce this into a proper bunker so that these guys are protected. All right, so we got all three of the bunkers nice and up. Let's go ahead and put a few beams to connect them, because we want it to be one unit, right? And on top of those beams, we are going to place sniper dudes. There we go. If this it's not a proper D-Day challenge, then I don't know what is. All right, so now all we need is a whole bunch of muskets. Let's switch over to the offensive blue side. I think muskets... Is that is that musketoon? Or is that rifle, guys? Muskets on offense. Let's go ahead and go for the musketoons then, okay? We need a whole bunch of these guys. Now, LOL says to have 900 of them. That's a little many, okay? I don't know if we can do that, but this is probably... Quite a few already. All right, guys, over there in the distance, we have a big bunker base. This is D-Day. We have to attack the red team with our army of musket men. And let's see if we can take it on, all right? Here we go. Oh, man, they start firing right off the bat. I know we can do this, guys. Look how many dudes we have. Look how many dudes we have. It's gonna be so easy. It's gonna be... Like, I placed out way too many dudes, I think. <laughs> How many guys did it place down? Oh my gosh. Wait, the cannons are gonna be super strong against this, right? I think so. I don't think these snipers are gonna do a whole lot, though. I mean, even the musketoons that are on top of here. What are they doing? They're just looking at each other. Oh, it's, it's a staring contest. Who can stare the longest? If you blink, you lose. Ah, this guy. 
Did you blink? I think this guy blinked. He's gonna lose the battle for sure. Wait, where's the cannon set? Cannons are all down already. And now nothing is gonna happen, is that it? <laughs> you know what? In Ancient Warfare 3, you can control a unit. Like in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator, you can do it too. But here, no, no, no. All you can do is watch. And I don't want to watch this because this is a staring contest and these guys are the best, okay? They are pros. They will not blink. They won't even do anything at all. Let's go ahead and fix this battle a little bit, okay? Because I see this guy moving. I mean, he's trying to dance a little bit here. He's moving around. He is trying to show off here with his little gun. Yeah, it's not gonna happen, is it? What we need on the red team, on the defensive side, is a few more cannons. That is exactly what we need. We can even place them on top of here. How is that gonna work? Let's just try that, okay? <laughs> and then one, two. Come on, one. Oh, wait. Am I in blue territory already? Oh, boy. All right. Let's see if this is any better. Are these guys actually firing down like this? That looks so cool. Look at that. Whoa! <laughs> that is perfect. Oh, he's falling down, though. It's a cannon. He doesn't like gravity all too much. There he goes. We just shoot a whole block forward. The crazy guy. Oh, this is very nice. This is what I'm talking about, guys. We just need a little bit more cannon power. That is how you defend on D-Day. Which really isn't so good for the world, is it? <laughs> and the next suggestion comes from Asaya Hellings, who says... Get 7 or 10 cannons. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Of course, I'll go for 10 cannons. And then have a whole bunch of these soldiers. Just like this. And a whole bunch of these snipers. Just like this. To see... If they can break through all of the cannon power, we're not gonna wait around, okay? I wanna see. I don't even know how many I placed down. You guys can count it. I can't count so fast, okay? But let's see what's gonna happen here. We got, oh, a lot of cannon power coming in. That's a whopping 10 cannons. And we are not gonna deal a lot of damage, okay? Because the snipers and the soldiers just don't deal a lot of damage to this guy. Because it's a cannon. It's not a dude, okay? This thing is so heavily armored. And wow, I thought we would take down like a few cannons, maybe. But all of the cannons are fine, though. Oh, I know this is gonna happen. You know what's gonna happen? The snipers have more range than the cannons. Which means that the cannons can never fire back. <laughs> oh, that's silly. Maybe I should put these guys on the uh, offensive side and see what happens. But first, before we do that... We need a lot more guys, okay? You guys uh, may or may not know that I have a nice little uh, auto clicker on my keyboard. Look at this, guys. This is how I can place down way too many units all the time. Now, I don't know how many units this is going to be, but I, <laughs> I can assure you it is quite a lot. And I like it. The more units, the better. Is the game laggy? Yes, it is. That's how I like my games, okay? With uh, way too many units and way too much lag. The more dudes, the more fun. Let's see. <laughs> this is a big army. Holy moly. I mean, keep in mind that the cannons can take down several dudes with just a single shot. Especially if they are grouped up like this. Oh my uh, gosh, look at that. They fire so fast with this new gun. <laughs> oh, this is great. Look at that. Yeah, these cannons don't even stand a chance. I can't believe how well this game runs, though. Look at so many dudes and it's still playable. And red team wins. All right, keep the units. Switch over to blue. Keep it on offense. And let's fill it in with a whole bunch of rocket men in the back. We're gonna have rocket men in the back, okay? That's, that's very nice, right? Rocket men in the back. Cannons in the front. Maybe that's not a very clever idea. But I don't care too much, okay? I want to see a lot more firepower. Here we go. Oh my gosh, let's look at it from this way. Like a big... Battle view. <laughs> it's just bullets and cannonballs all over the place. Wait, where's my rocket set? Oh, there's a rocket. There's a few more rockets. Holy moly, look at that. Wow. The whole battlefield just explodes just like that. I love it. Beautiful. Now it's just a few more guys here. And these guys are not on defense anymore. They're on offense. And that's how they go down. All right, guys, that's it for wooden battles. As always, leave a suggestion for a custom battle. And maybe we can check it out in the next video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please do a like, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next Purchase 5 video. <laughs>